It's a spectacular display that lucky Canadians get a front row seat to, the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Whether bright green or stunning pink, what causes the auroras to have different colors? This natural light display is caused when charged particles from the sun, also known as solar wind, interact with Earth's magnetic field. When this stream of particles is strong enough, gorgeous auroras are created. The colors we see are determined by two factors. Number one, the type of gas that the particles collide with, and number two, how high in the atmosphere the collision takes place. These collisions produce billions of tiny flashes. When they occur in sequence, they appear to dance across the night sky. The most frequently seen aurora color is green. The green is created when particles collide with oxygen molecules at altitudes of 100 to 300 kilometers. A pink or dark red edge of an aurora is produced by nitrogen molecules colliding at about 100 kilometers. Higher up in our atmosphere, at roughly 400 kilometers, collisions with oxygen atoms produce red auroras. On rare occasions, yellow and pink can be spotted in an aurora, but only during high solar activity, such as a geomagnetic storm. The stronger the storm, the further away from the poles auroras can be viewed. They are ranked in strength from a minor G1 to an extreme G5, where the northern lights have been spotted as far south as Texas. The best aurora viewing is usually within an hour or two of midnight, around the spring and fall equinoxes. 